Hello, and today I'm going to show off some skills you can do with the elephant that many may not know about, since it takes a few tricks with click to move. So this is the charge elephant I'm currently using, I've got some armor on it. Armor's not really needed. So I'm going to show off the charge skill first. Um, there's two other skills as well I'll be showing off afterwards. Uh, for these, you are going to need click to move activated. So first you're going to need an elephant, obviously. So it's rather simple, you just uh, charge, then you hold down S, and then you click, and you click behind you, or in any, any direction you actually want to go. This uh, allows for quick movement into different directions, this is really important during uh, elephant combat. Whereas normally you have to do a very slow and wide turn to turn into different directions. So like I said, just basically hold down S, and uh, control. You have to press control to activate the click to move or your cursor and you'll be able to click into any direction that you want to go. Now the next tr uh, the next trick with the elephant is going to be the stomp elephant. This one is actually really important and changes the elephant entirely. As you can see you can click to move into any direction you want. Mid stomp, this changes a lot with the elephant. Normally you have to stop, like at after you finish stomping you have to stop and then turn very slow slow turn with this you can just boom instant and he's he's done he, he can't dodge it if if they're just constantly attacking you they can't dodge it if they're you know in may in melee range they won't have enough time obviously you can time this out to be very short and do it very last second it's a little bit buggy in that aspect but if you time it right and if you get used to it you can easily knock people down like right there he just he jumped into me, and I got a stomp off, and knocked him down. So I think this is one of the more important ones. You just simply press F, and then you click to move into any, any direction you want. Stomp elephants are very important for sieges, same as charge elephants. These are the two abilities that you mainly want on your elephants. And with T2s coming out, you're able to get at least two abilities on them. So the most important elephant there is, is going to be a stomp charge elephant. Charges, charge elephants can be used to knock down structures. Uh, mainly, anything besides siege towers. So, the tower itself um, won't really take that much damage or any, any damage. I'm not really sure how they change it within the recent siege patches, but they're primarily used for taking down barricades, recovery centers, supply depots. Um, all of those buildings, you just need to avoid getting near the defense towers like flame towers and hawatches. They will nuke the elephant. It's insane how much damage they do. Charge elephants are also good for taking down outposts. Uh, they do a good amount of damage and are very useful with sieges. Stomp elephants are really good for defending flags and just defending the general base or group of uh, people you have. Now with the click to move it really changes it up. This is the third skill, it's a little bit more of like an extra trick. You normally don't have people on the side like this uh, so it's not really too common to find this but naturally if you are ever on the side you're gonna see that you can't really turn that much until you throw. Once you throw you just move into the direction that you want and you throw it. That's it. Now, uh, another tip for sieges, I would say, with uh, is with horses. Horses uh, who have charge do a good amount of damage to cannons. So I hope that this video was helpful, and hopefully it can aid in your future elephant uses. Uh, one of the newer videos I'll be putting out, um, up and coming, will be a guide on to create ele uh, elephants and to build node towers for those that aren't really experienced or new to the game. Uh, have a great wonderful day and if you have any questions feel free to leave any comments down in the comment section. I'll be putting out some more videos with uh, a lot of new information that I haven't put out prior.